There's spoilers for this movie. Be aware. Okay, cool. Chuck that in at the beginning, editor. Thanks. Um, so following up, we now have the movies section. Because we've been watching movies over the weeks. Movies are finally coming out. So I want to review some stuff. And a handful of movies have come out. I think every week now I'm going to have a movie to talk about. If not Loki, but maybe I'll wait till the end of Loki for that. Now, there's a movie that came out recently. Pretty big movie by a pretty big studio. And it is, of course, the big boy, Luca. You can tell by this wonderful shot of a fish. This will be then, I guess, our official thoughts and moment to talk about Luca. But as Parabima has requested, I am not allowed to actually say the word Luca. Let's see how this goes. So here's our little improv review. This film is, you know, the latest of the Pixar films to release. I'm a big fan of Pixar, been watching them since my childhood, and they're probably my favorite animation studio of all time. When they came out with Soul in December, I wasn't as big a fan as most other people. I was a bit of a critic when the trailer first released, and I was a critic afterwards. I had like 90% likes as opposed to 99% likes on YouTube, so you know I screwed up. And this film... I kind of feel the same. This is a good movie. I won't say it's a bad movie. Soul was a good movie too. But this movie isn't a Pixar classic. It's a standard movie, you know? It, it, it goes through the motions. It's pretty simple. It doesn't blow my mind. And I guess that's okay. But I'm also disappointed by some of the directions it went with. Um, so the general pl premise, I'm sure you've all seen this before. But the general premise is... Two mermaid boys essentially uh, go to a human town that is forbidden. They want to uh, earn a scooter. They want to get a bike. I've forgotten what it's called, but they're after it so that they can escape the world together. In the, all the while, they are mixed in with the humans. They go on to a tournament to try to earn said bike. And then, uh, well, you can probably presume what happens next. They get caught and hijinks sort of go around from there. It's interesting. It's nice. Um... A lot of people are critical of, like, the, um, any indication of romance between, like, the kids, especially as, like, two boys. I'm not on that bandwagon. I'm not a critic on that element. Like, uh, as someone uh, tweeted as a really good response, like, you know, if you're, if you're upset with kids being romantically connected, then you don't like Inside Out with Riley, and you don't like... Oh, there are other examples of Pixar movies with kids in, like, any kind of romantic situations. I don't really... Whatever. Um, either way though, the actual ways this movie goes around its thing isn't as enticing. You know, you've got a generic sort of family that are against, you know, exploring the outside world. The world underwater is kind of interesting, but they don't do much with it. The family are kind of cliched. Even, I mean, even the dad there, the big scary brutey dad with no eyes and eyebrows. Kind of cliche, but I really liked his character. He was really fun to play with, you know, he was really a big softy in the end. I really liked him. But at the same time as well, while there are a lot of cliches, there's also like a lot of potential they could have done that they didn't. Like there are there are dream sequences with the kid there whose name I'm not allowed to mention, who which are really interesting. They really threw me off when I was watching it on the trailer. I liked those little moments. Everything else is very much like a small scale story. They go on the uh, they go on their tournament and you know they get revealed. Uh, excuse me, spoilers. Uh, 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 add this now. Uh, well, not now, editor, because there, there's the spoilers right there. <laughs> well, not much is happening. Oh my god, is this all spoiler territory? This spoilers for this movie! Be aware! Okay, cool. Chuck that in at the beginning, editor. Thanks. Um... <laughs> at the end of the movie, it's revealed by Rain that they are, in fact, mermen. And there's a little, a little element of, um... Oh, other villagers were also fish. Uh, yeah, fish. They were also mermen. That was cool. There was three others, I think, in one group. I would have liked it if there were more of these mermen interspiced in the entire human world. Make it a bit more than just one-off reveal. You know, that, um, very boring. Especially because there's a grandma character of the main protagonist who is uh, very much like supportive of going to the human world. Why wasn't she there? Why wasn't she in human disguise? I would have wanted her to be like the final reveal. That would have been really, really fun. But it wasn't in the end. The villain of this story as well is just like some 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 kid with a bike who's a bit pompous and you know very very simple just bad for being bad not a deep character 
and that's fine. But it, because of that, this is not ever going to be a Pixar classic. It's a standard movie. I would show my own child once or twice. If they wanted to watch it more, they could. But I'd much rather show them Monsters, Inc. and Toy Story and The Incredibles and Coco. This is a non... Um, not inventive, but like non-impacting uh, movie. It's just a standard movie. Enjoyable. I like the smear frames of that one Italian guy that we found from the last time we looked at the trailers. I like the connection between these three, although it, you know, kind of sta it's, it's, it's kind of standard, you know. Main guy and the girl get a little close. Second guy gets a little jealous. I felt the emotional beats when the, the boys break up. I like this. The animation and the, the, the technique to, like, ta transport them over. Really, really good. I like that. The parents had their own mini arc of trying to find the kid, and they just keep beating up kids to do so. That was alright, um, wasn't that attached. Um, and then in the, you know, I really like the relationship between Alberto, which is the second kid, and this dad. I really enjoyed, that was like, oh, wholesome, I want their own little moment, but there was only a small thing on the side. Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's kind of all my thoughts, I think. I'm trying to see from the other footage what else shows up. Um, Merman's interested in human world. That's pretty standard. Mermen in the human world doing things? Fairly standard. You know? It's fine. Enjoyable. But just standard. They fight. They argue. I wouldn't be surprised if my synopsis of this movie I told, like in one of the last trailers, was at all accurate. But otherwise, it was a nice hour and a half to spend. Typical, the, the entire village immediately is like, oh yeah, we like mermen now. Like, there was one guy that didn't. Oh, actually, I guess they kind of spiked up. Okay, so the dad's the one that actually told them, no, we like them, because he got a connection with Alberto. But that's it. You know? Um. Oh, well, at least I got the smear frame out of it. The rest of it, yeah, like, I, like, I almost don't have thoughts for it. That's the end of my thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Alberto is a double villain in that he... He wants the, the, to win the tournament as a human, and he wants to kill the monsters as a human, but monster villain. That's it. That's it. Does fun things. Cute world. Not interested in the, in the rest. And it all ended up on Disney+. Plus. That's a thing I'm bothered about. The final thing I'll say, the fact that this is free bothers me. I don't like paying for more movies when I've already got a subscription, but I'd much rather pay for this and Soul over Mulan and Cruella being paid for. Pixar is being so underhanded right now and underrated and just, you know, I can't believe these Disney live actions rank better than Pixar. But there you go, there's my thoughts. Pixar, fun, standard kind of movie. Ah oh well, enjoyable for some. It's a seven out of 10 for me. Maybe that's a good score. To me, that's an okay score. Not a bad film. It is what it is. So there you are.